New details now on a deadly police shooting in 2022. Phoenix police announced they have fired an officer involved in that shooting. It happened after a man was seen throwing rocks at officers near 19th Avenue in Glendale. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is following up on this big story. I believe it was wrong what happened to Ali. It's been around a year and a half since ABC 15 first spoke with Ali Osman's family as they flew to the valley from Minnesota to fight in memory of their loved one. I can't believe what happened. I cannot even watch the video. In September of 2022, Osman was shot and killed by Phoenix police after he was seen throwing rocks at officers. In body camera video, an officer can be heard saying, <laughs> Seconds later, that officer and another fired multiple shots, killing the 34-year-old who family says had mental health issues. 25 is a lawsuit, lawsuit settlement, Vice Mayor. The Phoenix City Council in November approving a $5.5 million settlement in the case. And on Wednesday, the interim Phoenix Police Chief Michael Sullivan sending out a statement saying he was firing one of the officers involved, Jesse Johnson, after deciding the shooting was out of policy. I, can't, I was surprised, I, Frank, I was surprised that it got fired you know, um, after all this time. Quasi Smith is the attorney for Osmond's family. He calls this the right decision. And it's nothing personal against that officer, not a judgment on his character. It's his conduct for that particular day. It goes to show that the Phoenix Police Department and the city of Phoenix are making some honest efforts to improve the relationship between the police officers and the citizens, and that should be commended. The Phoenix Law Enforcement Association president in a statement saying he was appalled by the chief's decision, saying the critical incident review board unanimously found this use of force in policy. He called the chief's message a victory lap sent before due process rights were exhausted. I'm not looking at their policy again. I'm not looking at this administratively. I'm looking at the law. Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell in May of 2023 declining to charge the officers involved. I, I believe that Rachel Mitchell's decision was absolutely the wrong decision. It is still the wrong decision. It erodes public trust. Wednesday in a statement, County Attorney Mitchell saying the administrative investigation by the police department and the criminal case Case review are two very different considerations. We're told Johnson can still appeal his termination to the Civil Service Board. Back to you.